good start, Coach. You know, back to back nights seemed like your freshman performed pretty well. How would you kind of characterize his performance? Yeah, I thought it was great. <clears throat> Probably could have gone a little longer if we hadn't have thrown him the inning on Sunday. Um, but I, I want to say one of his last pitches was like 97.8 or something like that. So it was it was an impressive night for him. Um, and, he, and he wasn't great left-handed. He usually is. I don't know if he hadn't had enough practice lately. Um, you know, left-handed just because he had he was a little tender. But I thought he was really good. I guess when you're calling, you know, a game that he's throwing, I mean, is it you know completely different when, when he's switching hands and you know the wheel is a little different from the left side? I don't think so. I, I just it's a real sweeping breaking ball. So when he has his breaking ball, and, and, and he'll be up to 92 left-handed. So it's yeah, it's not as hard as the right. I just wish he could switch hands in the middle of the batter. That's where you'd really like to see it, you know. But uh, it, it's special, man. It's it's those, the last two nights. I mean, we're two, two freshmen out there that fits really really well. How do you feel like maybe the middle approach from your team was different today compared to yesterday? I don't think either one. I thought we were probably a little tight early in this game. You know, we probably had a couple mistakes early in this game. We're, we're trying to find ourselves right now. We're not playing. I thought we were good tonight, but, um, you know, we play really good when we, we get it rolling. You can see how talented some of these kids are when, um, you know, the game opens up a little bit. We've got to be able to play like that down two, up two, zero, zero in the ninth. Um, we got to be able to play that game, uh, you know, relaxed and loose. With Gerangelo, I mean, you know, when he goes out there to pitch, it's obvious, you know, all the fans are really excited and want to see him throw. I guess, how does he, you know, as a freshman, kind of, you know, balance that and, and have the approach to, you know, not get nervous by you know, all the lights around him? He's as chilled as you will find in everything that he does. So he, uh, it's just nothing's phased him. I mean, he left the, his country, came here, you know, new kid, came to Miss Starkville, Mississippi. Just nothing phases him. I mean, he's just, he's just a competitor, you know, and he is, uh, I mean, it's just easy out there. I mean, he makes it, you know, uh, you know he's going to get hit at times, but uh, and he can get a lot better. I mean, I, I think you're going to see a kid that's going to get a lot better just with his stuff over time. Are these early season games good for trying to figure out which pitchers you can trust you know, going forward? Well, true. I mean, very true. So we're, we're still trying to find them. Um, we have some talented, you know, young guys, and we just have a lot of guys who haven't pitched here and pitched this level, and they're going to have to. They have to get acclimated quickly before SEC play, so we're trying to get them out there, get them comfortable. Logan Forsyth, a prime example. I mean, it's an ultra talented guy. I mean, he has a lot of talent, but game played him tough. We had a error. He hits a guy on an 0-2 slider, and then they get a ball that bleeds over the top of the infield, and um, now now you got to compete, you know. And, and that's what he's got to learn to do. He's got to learn to compete in those moments instead of oh. Oh crap! You know what's you know what's going on. He's got to be able to take a deep breath and make his stuff is really good. I know you saw an outbreak. So you just talk about the bomb. Do it. Do it yet? <laughs> well, we've been waiting for it. It's been a week, <laughs> so he uh, he's been trying to do a little too much. I mean, just a typical freshman. Uh, but it was. I mean, he said them like that in our practices. I mean, it's just been crazy. It's a it's a really. T- I thought the best thing he did tonight. He made a play down the left field line. Um, he's you know coming in and catching that ball. I thought that was a big part of the game. Um, but he's he's working and he and he flies, so he has the play earlier in the game, I think, where he beats out a ball. Um, but he can do that too. He you know he can hit a lot of homers. You had two games now to see Ross behind the play. What are, what are your impressions of him so far? How's he handling the acclimation to college life? <clears throat> he's been good. He's been real good. He uh, you know he can throw with anybody. I don't know if I don't know if anybody's really ran on him. Um, and, he, and he's, he's catching great. I mean, I think he's done fine. I and mean, he's made some big strides. You know, Chief, we were lucky we have a full-time catching coach, so a lot of places don't. So Chief's done a great job with him. Um, I was impressed. I was happy with his swing tonight too. You know, he's a he probably runs as fast as anybody on our team. You know, for a catcher, he kind of reminds me of the old Craig Biggio or somebody like that. And uh, he starts going offensively. It's 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 nice for the team, especially on the on the back side of the order. KC got an inning there. Are you going to change anything up this weekend with the rotation? or? I don't know yet. We're looking at it. We just wanted to get him out there and get comfortable and just, you know, just, you know, but I thought he looked really good. Just his demeanor, just his stuff, everything looked really good. So uh, we got to figure that out tomorrow. We'll probably put it out. Also, we haven't seen, you know, Pico yet this season. Any update on his status? He's a little tender right now, so we're just kind of day to day with him. So um, probably won't see him this weekend, but I don't, I don't, I'm hoping, knock on wood, it's nothing serious. So. How kind of encouraging was this performance after, right off to last night's kind of your guys being able to flush it and get out there and play again? Yeah, it was great. I mean, they, they, they have to learn. I mean, we're, you know, it, it's, uh, I just spoke to them about being consistent, coming every day and being consistent, playing the game the right way. And 
uh, we're trying to figure ourselves out. You know, who do you trust coming out of the pen? Who do you trust? Uh, you know, it's going to make pitches. And, and uh, but I was I was very pleased. They, these guys want to win. This is a good group, and they're talented. We haven't played our best yet. You know, this early in the season, but uh, I feel like our best baseball is ahead of us. Talk about the challenge of Arizona State this weekend. Really good. They got probably three frontline starters with power stuff. Um, I think they have some really talented. They've started out really well. I think they're four and zero going into today. I don't know if they played today. Um, you know, Willie, uh, he had played for Coach Polk, and uh, that's kind of the connection of why when he got the job, the coach always wanted to kind of. So Coach Polk called me and got me in touch with Willie Bloomquist, their head coach, and uh, that's why they were kind of coming. So he always wanted to come play here. So it, it'll be a premier matchup this weekend. I think it'll be one of the better weekend matchups in college baseball. Colton, maybe take us through the uh, the home run there. That the ball got out of here in a hurry. I don't know if you heard. I think it was 117 miles per hour. And so, uh, what'd you see there, and how were you able to be so flush? Well, he kept hitting me in, and uh, it was 2-0, so I knew, figured fastball was coming again, and I just tried to square it up, and it happened to go out. So, Ross, what's it like, you know, being behind, being behind the plate, and catching a guy like Gerangelo? It's probably the coolest thing. I was asking the umpire. And he actually catched the first ambidextrous pitcher that was at the Oakland A's, so he's kind of used to it. But it's a little weird trying to like get used to his lefty and righty things. You just got to prepare in advance, catch a lot of his bullpens, and he'll turn out all right. What about his demeanor? I mean, Coach talks about how chill he is, but he showed some emotion after some, some strikeouts today. What, what do you see from him, and what, what's it like kind of dealing with him as the catcher? It was kind of a new thing, seeing him with that kind of attitude. I liked it. So we've kind of been trying to get him out of his shell, and I think he's getting really comfortable around everybody. And now that he's doing this great stuff, he's kind of showing his emotions. It's a great thing for the team. And your classmates, with you know, he and Bradley and some of the other guys, I mean, as a freshman coming in, knowing you're going to be with these guys two or three years, uh, you know, what's that like knowing that when you're the everyday catcher, you're kind of catching the weekend guys in the future right now? It's awesome, really, because we all live in the dorms, and we can just get really close now, and I think it'll be something special. Colton, can you talk more about what you guys were able to do offensively? I know um, you and Homer uh, obviously slain to go to try to hit one out of the you know, out of the dude today. But just what were you guys able to accomplish offensively? And how well, you know, you just, what was working for you guys well offensively today? Just making sure we squared up the fastball and be ready for it, um, and not chase anything down in the zone. Um, so I, we did a lot better job of just being prepared for the fastball and, and squaring it up. So, well, I guess how comfortable have you felt, you know, behind the play? I think. It, your second second start behind the plate. You know, what are some areas you feel like maybe you can improve on throughout the year? Um, be ready for a little wild pitch. I think I can improve in every area and just kind of work at that every day. Colton, you three-hole hitter a lot at Sanford you know, last year, making the adjustment to two-hole hitter. Responsibilities are a little bit different, you know, especially early in ball games. How have you handled that? How maybe is it different compared to being a three-hole hitter? I wouldn't say it's too different. Um, I would say just trying to get on for my team and uh, just finding a way each time to get on. Um, either that's walk, hit by pitch, um, but it's, I wouldn't say it's too different. So. What's it been like being kind of being the new guy here? I mean, you're not a freshman. You're a guy that's proven a lot on the college level, and you're joining a team where you didn't come up with these guys. So what's it been like? How have they taken you in? Oh, it's been awesome. These guys have really uh, really made me comfortable around here and, and uh, taken me in as one of them. So, And I love the culture here. The culture is culture's awesome. I, I couldn't. Couldn't have dreamed for a better place to be at. Ross, you've hit the ball pretty well in the first couple of games. How what's that adjustment been like, you know, coming from high school baseball to you know, college ball? It's a big difference because high school, you can have dudes throw an 80 and they'll miss their spots, but college, you just, there's probably two pitches in a game that they'll miss and you just got to be ready to attack them. Hope you was talking about this weekend coming up, Arizona State coming in. We're undefeated through four games. Just talk about the challenge they presented. Um, I would say just play our game and uh, just play as a unit like we did tonight, um, filling up the zone like we did today, and uh, just do what we do as an offense. Colton, how did y'all kind of go about flushing the game from yesterday to come right back out there and have that kind of performance? Well, we, we have a lot of confidence in ourselves, um, so we, we know we just got to rebound and uh, make some adjustments in the areas that we needed to, and uh, we did that obviously tonight. So.